everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Joining Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. With us this evening, WNBA legend Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks for having me. You're too kind, Brian. Hey, everyone. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Trey Young. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Now Atlanta starting five. Young and Herter, the one and the two. Collins at the four with Capella at center. And it's Lawawu Cabarro in at the three, the small forward. And for the Clippers, we've got Marcus Morris. Eric Bledsoe is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Serge Ibaka. And it's Zubats in at the five. for a Los Angeles team. What do you think it's like for the Clippers now playing away from their home these last few years? Well, when you win and you advance in the playoffs, slowly but surely people get on that bandwagon bus. So you're going to see more and more LA Clippers fans on the road. Here's Luau Cabarro. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. The vision of Trey Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. Down to five on the shot clock. For three. Doesn't go that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. This game against Los Angeles here. Their first look at the Clippers. And last year's games were interesting to watch, considering that each team came out with a win against the other. This is going to be a fun first game between these two squads. Buckle up. It's deflected. Pass to Bledsoe. Here's Jackson. Back to Zubats. Jackson with it. Bledsoe outside. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Here's Herder. Another three for Atlanta. Kevin Herter, a terrific catch-and-shoot player, both from a stationary position and coming off screens. Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. All right, Candace, I know you grew up a Chicago Bulls fan. Who was your favorite player on those legendary Bulls teams? But not named Michael Jordan. Well, you know, I loved following the Bulls, especially in the 90s. That was when I fell in love with basketball. Um, but there was a guy named Ron Harper that I really enjoyed watching. I think that he was a huge piece in their championship run. And, um, you know, before he joined the Bulls, he used to give number 23 a, a couple battles when he was with the Cavs. I thought you might go with Dennis Rodman. That's a good one, too. I just don't love the passing angle there. Might have been better to reset. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Pass to Zubats. Bledsoe outside. And again, the Clippers missing. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. The Clippers have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Down low. Oh, 
Deflected. And stolen by Herter. On the push. Here comes Atlanta. And here's Collins for three. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. of the WNBA engaging new fans and sponsors. Candace, how does the league continue that ascent, you think? I think the WNBA has to continue to do things different. Um, we are a different game than the NBA, and we can't always use the NBA's um, blueprint as ours. So I think we need to continue to push that and, um, you know, open up more doors for ourselves. Good point. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Pass to Bledsoe. Jackson on the wing. Guarded by Young. Just five to shoot. Ibaka for three. Knocks down the long tail. Stretching the floor for Ibaka. This shot's become second nature. Outside Herder. Now Young. And he lobs it up top. Stolen by Jackson. In transition, here come the Clippers. Bledsoe with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. Bledsoe can't get it to go. And here are the Hawks now. They're on an 11-3 run. Young against Bledsoe. Outside Young. Pocket six. Shoots over Jackson. Young can't hit. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Young against Jackson. To the inside. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the layup. Soon the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. And something we saw in Atlanta's terrific playoff run, Candace. Trey Young. This guy knows how to step up when all eyes are on him. You know, there's some people that like being the villain, and I think Trey Young has taken that on with open arms. He is made, he is built for those moments where the entire crowd is against him. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Jackson on the wing. Zubats with a screen on Young. And it's blocked by Collins. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. Count it. All right, 
well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. The other thing they've done is immediately get out on the fast break. They're definitely getting some points that way. And here are the Clippers now. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. And he can't get that one. Excellent D there from Capella. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Collins. Now here's Herder. Young with a screen on Jackson. And it's Herder penetrating. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Off the bounce, Kevin Herder is one of those guys who can surprise you with the speed. Kevin Herder. Shooting two. Interesting. Kevin Herter projects to be a shooter, but he's so inconsistent from the free throw line. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Jang, he's checked in for Capella. Gallinari comes in for Collins. Reddish is checked in for Luawu Cabarro. And Williams is subbed in for Trey Young. He hits the second from the line. And the Clippers with the ball. They trail by 11. Well, Candace, you're one of the most prolific scorers in league history. Someone has to get you the ball, though. What do you like in a point guard? I love a point guard that is in control of the game, that knows when to push, knows when to get back, and knows the position that players like the ball. The point guards that have been the best that I've played with at the beginning of the season have asked me, where do you want the ball? And when you ask those questions, you get solid answers. And you get I'm honored to be your TV point guard. Man, you throw Nobas. They're so... Man, I'm ready, DA. I'm ready to catch those Nobas. Here's Man. And the Clippers miss again. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Pass to Jang. Here's Herger. In his last outing, 16 points for him. That shot, no good. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. And he drives in. Jang pulls it in. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Here's Reddish. And there's the rejection. Oh, they need this. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Lou Williams. Take a line for your quarters. P.J. Boston taking two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. And the Hawks making a change here. Wright's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Here's Gallinari. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Candace, the WNBA has just reached its 25th anniversary. You've been a big part of the league for a lot of that time. What changes have you noticed through the years? 
Well, the league has definitely grown. It's 25 years, and I like to say 25 years young. I think we have a whole lot more upside. Um, the style of play is changing, and it's definitely benefiting watching that being entertained. So I think that we need to continue to grow our game, maybe a couple expansion teams, bigger rosters, so that more talented players can make the WBA. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from three-point land. Bledsoe outside. This one for three. Knocks down the triple. He's got five. Long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Three, three, three. Now here's right. Outside Gallinari. There's a screen by Jay. There's the block. His man. He takes it in. Pass to Hartenstein. Six to shoot. Bledsoe for three. He drains out to two misses. He's now one for three. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Here's Chang. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And let's have a look at the leaderboard to see which point guards have been outperforming their peers in the steals category in the last 10 games. Eric Bledsoe, fourth. Yeah, he's a pest. He gets under your skin. I mean, all these players have the combination of quickness and intelligence you want in a point guard. What I love about it, these guys are dialed in defensively. That's the game plan for these guys. Defensive mindset first. down the first one. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, Candace in women's basketball, a lot of players play overseas when the WNBA isn't in season. You can add to your income, and a lot of players need that income, of course. When you talk about that aspect, the WNBA versus overseas, and where we're going with that. Yes, overseas is honestly where you make your living. Um, for 10 years, I played year-round. From WNBA season, October to April, I would go to Russia, and then I would come back and play in the WNBA season again. So, it definitely is a grind, but this is the WBA is honestly the summer job. Um, playing overseas really does benefit your career. How about the toll on your body? So it had to have had a great toll over the years. Yeah, rest. What is rest, BA? I don't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Here's Hartenstein. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Batum. Chang pulls it in. Chang's got four rebounds in the game. Right outside. Back to Williams. Pass to Chang. The three. And the Hawks with another three. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Letso. Pass to Kennard. Here's Hartenstein. Here's Batum. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To halt the run. Gallinari pulls it in. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Pass to Reddish. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the Hawks lead by 15. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Now here's Kennard. Bledsoe with a screen on Williams. Kennard finds Bledsoe. Here's Mann. Rebound Atlanta. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Williams. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Atlanta. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes.
and their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. Back to the game after this break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. You know, for the Hawks, this has been the game they've wanted to have. Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. Candace, we see so many different coaching styles. To you, what's the most important quality in a head coach? The most important quality in a head coach, especially nowadays, is to be able to connect. You have to be able to connect and know what they need on a nightly basis. You know when to push, know when to bring them back down into reality, um, and how to set the tone. So I think that that is so important, especially in this generation. On the court for the Hawks, Collins at four with Capella at center. Trey Young out there with Lou Williams. And it's Reddish in at the three slot. Now here's Young. Unloads. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. Green by Ibaka. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And off the jump, they will be effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Hawks went on a tear last season after naming Nate McMillan their interim head coach. After he won Eastern Conference Coach of the Month and helped guide them to the franchise's first playoff run in four seasons, it seemed inevitable that he'd become the head coach long term. Nothing new for him, Allie. Good stuff there. Kennard finds Ibaka. Out left to the wing. Screen by Ibaka. From 12 feet. Second chance shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Really, I want to see them crash the offensive glass a little harder here. They were so good at that in the first quarter. Serge Ibaka at the free throw. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And he sinks the second. Oh, from the Republic of Congo, Serge Ibaka, Dikembe Mutombo, and Bismarck Biyombo. A lot of big man talent. Collins, no good. The Clippers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Kennard. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on John Collins. Hey can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. At the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Shot shooter Kennard is valuable. A guy who stretches the floor and works very hard. And that's good as he hits both shots. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. against Jackson. Now here's Young. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. 
win so far in this one, two for four. You have to admire Young's determination and toughness. He's not just a perimeter threat. Jackson, pass to Ibaka. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Hawks. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Zubats, he's checked in for Kennard. The Hawks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Young against Jackson. Collins with a screen on Jackson. Here's Young. That shot is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. You usually want to find some teaching moments. But in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can be better to just let it go. Pass to Herder. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. 16 feet out. The rebound by the Hawks. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. You know, sometimes you just don't match up with a team, no matter what you do. And it starts to feel like quicksand. You know, they were reacting rather than dictating. I thought they played scared all night. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the arc. Jackson outside. Tries a 10-footer. And the Clippers miss again. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Collins outside. Pass to Capella. And rejected. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubas. Wally Cameron, he's checked in for Red. Two of the three, Wally Cameron. The three, Collins drops in the three. Collins has got six. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. To stop the drought. Hey, rejected by Capella. We've been spoiled by watching Clint Capella do this for years and years. He's such a skilled defender. To Lawawu Cabarro. There's Young with the three. That shot off. And the Clippers will come the other way. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Now Jackson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Zubac with the basket on the assist by Jackson. That's the leadership they're looking for from Jackson. Staying patient, surveying the court, locates the open man. Collins against Ibaka. Young inside. The Clippers grab the miss. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. on the clock shot from the top of the key and again it's the Clippers and the Hawks with possession here it's a 16 point game Jackson against Young pass to Collins Ooh, what a play just holds the block
Pass to Capella. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. He's a lot to handle at both ends. Capella just keeps coming at you. Shooting for Atlanta. Clint Capella. Two shots. Free throw misses. You know, in most seasons throughout his career, Clint Capella has shot a higher percentage from the field than from the line. Wright checked in for the Hawks. So it comes up empty at the line. The Clippers have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Jackson against Collins. Stolen by Capella. In transition. Here they come. Up the floor. And Collins with the slam. An explosive leaper. Collins hangs in the air. Puts on a show. an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Jackson outside. That one is off. Collins with the defensive effort. For Atlanta, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Offensive board. Takes a three. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got his fourth rebound in this one. Inside. Here's Herter. That one drops. Three for six now. Finding makeable shots. Kevin Herter continuing to become more efficient as they score. Jackson against Wright. The shake. Out of bounds. As Los Angeles keeps possession. And the Hawks making a change here. Jang's checked in. Pass to man. And there's the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Now here's Herter. He's closely guarded. Here's Luau Cabarro. It's rebounded by Zubox. Zubox has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Jackson. Jackson, the screen. Here's Mann. Chang pulls it in. Chang's got his fifth rebound in this one. Right outside. Collins with it. Back to right. Collins a screen. Over to the wing. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Zubox. Zubox has got his sixth rebound on the night. And Jackson, here we go. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. Right outside. Pass to Luau Cabarro. There's the drive. Walking foul called on Avisa Zuba. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. The for Williams the Hawks. comes in for Herter. Here's Luau Cabarro. Gallinari with a screen. 
Lawabu Cabrero, no good. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And it's Fatoum penetrating. Pass to Bledsoe. Trying to get back on track. The rebound by the Hawks. Chang's got his sixth rebound on the night. Right outside. Here's Luau Cabarro. Two minutes remaining in the first. Back to right. Six on the shot clock. Here's Williams. Hartenstein pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pletso, left side. There's a minute 40 left in the first half. Kennard against Williams. And it's Kennard on the take. Rebounded by the Hawks. Well, Candace, thanks so much for joining us and sharing your insights into the game. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Well, it's always interesting to hear from a great announcer who also is a great player. It doesn't always translate that way, but Candace is a special, special talent. And she puts in the work. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Eric Bledsoe. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without Take producing nearly the same results. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Reddish has checked in for Lawawu Cabarro. He's perfect from the line this time. And here are the Hawks now. They're on a 14-6 run to the paint. It's intercepted! Here's Kennard. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Kennard's got four points this quarter. Can't let Kennard get this close. Once you do, he's going up with it. From downtown, Reddish misses. And it's the Clippers' ball. They trail by 18. Pass to Hartenstein. Bledsoe outside. No one on him. Makes it easy one. Bledsoe's got five points. Terrific use of his body to open up space on the inside. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Gallinari from deep three point range. And Bledsoe pulls it down. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Kennard outside. Over Williams. No good off the front rim. And so is the Atlanta Hawks in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. Clint, an outstanding first half for this team at the defensive end of the floor. What was the key? Just be consistent. Uh, defensive rebounding was one of our keys tonight. And uh, it's just the start, so we're going to try to stay locked in on it. We know this is our key in our transition to, to make it stop here and run. So we're just going to keep going. Back to you guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, when you pass the ball the way they have, Ernie, I mean, this is the kind of scoring line you expect. The guys are in total sync, and the difference is, is the ball movement. I mean, they're moving the ball around, and it's striking. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. And taking a look at Atlanta, 
they haven't looked intimidating thus far. The hunger to improve uh, just isn't there. That worries you. I'm starting to feel that this team needs a culture change. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Kevin Herter really making a difference here. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Eric Bledsoe is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Serge Ibaka. Then there's Marcus Morris. And it's Zubats in at the five. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And he recovers it. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Jackson against Young. Well, you were Rookie of the Year back in 1995, Brad. For young guys coming into the league, how difficult are expectations right out of the gate? Well, rookies these days are way younger than when I played. I mean, I was 22 my first year in the league after four years in college. So, you know, I think we have to give these young players time to develop and learn how to become great in the NBA. Great open look there. That's so he's got eight points. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Okay, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Young. He has seven. Pass to Collins. Now Herder. Five to shoot. Off target from three-point range. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. To the middle. Kicks it out to Jackson. will take it the other way. 22 was their biggest lead. Collins with a screen on Jackson. Here's Young. Good on the bucket. Young's got five points now this quarter. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Bledsoe. Give him eight. To the right side. The fadeaway. Chang pulls it in. Chang's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. The Clippers have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Out of bounds, it'll be Hawks ball. And now let's look at the leaderboard, specifically rebounding and who has been crashing the glass over the last month. Clint Capella, third. He's just been incredible on the boys over the last month of the season. He's a guy who plays with such desire. There's a screen by Jay. Pass to Herder. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Put the ball in Herder's hands, let him make a decision. He can pass, and he can score. On the wing, Bletcho. A hand on it. Outside Young. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Los Angeles has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And here's Zubats. 
Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Bledsoe outside. To win the drought. He got a piece of it. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. Good work there as it goes. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Hawks. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defense. He's given up no easy looks. One other thing they've done very well is getting out in transition. They're running at every opportunity. So it's the Clippers now, following the score by Atlanta. Zubox with a screen on Young. Here's Jackson. And again, no good by the Clippers. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. You know what? After finishing second in Rookie of the Year voting in 2019, Trey Young took it to another level during his sophomore campaign, increasing his scoring average more than 10 points per game. He gets it in there. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Time call here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Steve Trey Young, named to the 2020 All-Star Game, the second youngest player in the NBA showcase. VA only Luka Doncic was younger. For that 1920 season, Trey finished, listen to this, in the top five in multiple categories. Points, assists, three-pointers made, free throws made. Trey Young has solidified himself as an elite offensive player. He's checked in for the Hawks. Wondering how the West is shaping up? Well, the midseason grind is in full force. Let's check out the standings. Taking a look at the Clippers. Right now, they're in ninth place. Definitely not the kind of success they envisioned at this point of the season. When I look at the Clippers, they had some lofty goals to start the year. But they may not have the roster to hang with the league's elite teams. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Here's Zubats. Pass to Bledsoe. Shoots over Young. Finds the open look and Tom Gordon. Bledsoe's got five points now this quarter. You don't see guards with Bledsoe's strength too often. Part of what makes him so unique. Oh, there's the alley. And it's Capella with the jam. You see the vertical. Clint Capella way above the rim with one or two hands. Pass to Bledsoe. Shot clock at six. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Herder. Rebound by the Clippers. Bledsoe outside. Puts up a three. And the three-pointer goes. Give him eight points now. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Pass to Collins. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Great defense by Serge. A tremendous athlete. Blessed with insane length and leaping ability. to the right wing. Baseline jumper. Rebounded by the Hawks. 
Collins has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Young against Bledsoe. Now here's Young. Defense right on him. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. with the rebound and his struggles have been apparent unable to make an impact score in the ball pass to Herder to the paint Collins inside out to the wing outside Herder the three is up it's rebounded by Zubac Zubats has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Ibaka. Let's go with a three. Pure from three-point range. He's got 11. Nice pass. Not really known as a natural facilitator, but Ibaka has the experience at this point to execute these plays. All right, your coach coming on to the court. Come on, get loud for your Clippers spirit. making some changes here and for a download on the best free throw shooters in the league look at the real stats real scores from the real NBA and you look at Reddish you want to avoid fouling this guy he's fourth in the league in free throw percentage and of course Trey Young hot on his tail both of these guys excel at the line and you just know their coaches love it guys who are reliable late in games Atlanta's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter Right, pass to Gallinari. Back to right. Capella inside. Another shot. And at last, they get one to fall. Capella's got four points this quarter. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Hartenstein. And here's Kennard. Tries a 10-footer. Yep, count it. Kennard's got six points. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Here's Reddish. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Three-pointer. Rebound Atlanta. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to right. Williams with it. On the mark with the 15-footer. Doesn't matter what defense you call against Williams. He finds the cracks and exploits them. 
Martin Stein a screen. Going inside. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Gallinari finds right. Back to Gallinari. Pass to Capella. Eighteen feet out. The rebound by Mann. Los Angeles is going three of five from downtown here in the second half. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically, centers that live in the paint on both ends of the floor, guys who rack up rebounds and easy buckets. Clint Capella might be the best in the league at rim running. Here's Batum. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Well, when you look at the numbers of Capella, Grant, you see a guy who knows his role. I love it. I mean, Clint never attempts threes. He's not looking to stretch the floor. A career 60-plus percentage shooter, Clint lives on dunks and putbacks, and he's always among the league leaders in rebounding. He's just a force down low. And he makes a first. So he hits both. Atlanta's gone two for five from three since halftime. Right, the pass to Williams. A minute 29 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Los Angeles has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Batum sets a screen. Pass to Hartenstein. Four on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And again, no good by the Clippers. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's Reddish. That shot off the mark. His offensive output just isn't there tonight, but his teammates have found a way to pick up the slack. Pass to man. Here's Hartenstein, guarded by Capella. Here's Batum. Back to Hartenstein. The three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 11. Now, here's Williams. Tries it from 19. The shot, no good. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. And though there's time left, they don't look like they're about to give up this huge lead. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. A chance now to hear Nate McMillan talking to his team moments ago. Okay, good patience on your spacing, getting it out, and attacking. Everybody is rebounding. We limit the team to one rebound and we push. All right? Coach McMillan showing confidence in his defense and his team's transition game. And the game is more fast-paced nowadays, which is why coaches constantly stress pushing it up the floor once they get the rebound. There have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the floor for Atlanta, we've got Lou Williams, Danilo Gallinari out there with Cam Reddish. Then it's Trey Young, and it's Collins in at the center, locking down the middle. Batum in the post. He's against Gallinari. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul of the game. Just another example of losing concentration. His fourth turnover the evening. He has to start protecting the ball better. 
And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Young. Pass to Gallinari. Yeah. That one's wide left. Jackson finds Bledsoe. Out to the right wing. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. Here's Reddish. Back to Young. Collins with a screen on Jackson. Young uses the glass on the layup. Whether it's on the drive or from the outside, Trey Young is a problem. A dangerous score. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Williams against Bledsoe. Three-pointer. Connects from downtown. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Young against Jackson. Collins with a screen on Jackson. Fair turnover for them tonight. They protected the ball and they're trying to protect this lead. And the Hawks making a change here. Herner's checked in. Kevin Herner. such a good score his speed keeps defenders on their toes and he has the physicality to finish pass to Gallinari over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth and it's Herter penetrating and the dunk to finish it off a beauty keeping that dribble alive Herter does a good job of picking his way through the defense Rebound by the Hawks. Herder's got four rebounds now. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That'll be a second foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. The Clippers making a switch here. Zubats checked in. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Batum. Jackson with a screen on Gallinari. And here's Zubats. Bledsoe for three. It's down. His second make in 13 attempts today. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Bledsoe against Young. Collins outside. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got five assists in the game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Zubac. Knocks it loose. And now the Hawks on the break. Bledsoe outside. No good with the triple. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Pass to Collins. Collins drawing the double team. Here's Herder. Another 
the three for Atlanta. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of it, making that happen, Greg. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art and that's the result you'll get well, your seven seconds or less sons really paved the way for the pace and space style that we see throughout the league today Grant. you know ba it really did but you know it's interesting i think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky but boy has it changed and i i feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach The Hawks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's Reddish. Back to Young. Collins with a screen on Jackson. Shot clock at five. Here's Herger. No luck on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. Let's it go from deep. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Jackson against Young. Herder with it. Pass to Reddish. Another three for Atlanta. Beautiful rhythm off the catch. Cam is a well-coordinated athlete who looks fluid in everything he does. Well, Grant, you've won the NBA Sportsmanship Award three times, tied with Mike Conley for the most ever. Wow, no, it is a humbling experience to get voted for that award by your peers. And it's all about, I think, trying to play the game the right way. Conley is a guy that truly embodies that. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Ibaka. Let's the three fly. Rebound Atlanta. And with each miss, you can see the frustration mounting for him. And Reddish gets it to go. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Zubox. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubox. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Outside Herder. From deep. And the Hawks with another three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Two box screen. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. Young against Jackson. Outside Young. Six on the shot clock. Here's Reddish. The kick out to Young. Capella, screen on Jackson. Here's Young. Here's Capella. And finally, they hit one. This is a joy to watch how active Capella is on offense. Fighting for the boards and saving that play. Young against Jackson. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and a little used to your team. 
team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive in today's game. Clint Capella only takes shots within his arsenal. Good at playing within himself. Jackson outside. To the inside. Will it go? Atlanta with the rebound. Collins has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class heating. And Young gets it to go. Young's got 11 points here in the second half. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Pass to Ibaka. Down low. Jackson against Young. Ibaka with a screen on Young. To the wing, right side. There's the three. Ibaka's shot is off. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Now here's Young. That one doesn't drop. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. And over the last few years, Smitty, a rising number of stars have forced trades. Is that a trend you like to see? You know, I don't like to see it. Sometimes you understand it in certain situations. I will say it can hurt smaller market teams. But we said this is a player's league for a while. And now we're really seeing it. Now here's Young. Here's Reddish. That three's off the mark. The Clippers shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Hawks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And a good performance to bring them their 18th win of the year. And they meet just twice, so taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for John Collins. Boy, was amazing the level of chaos he caused. Challenging ball handlers, getting into passing lanes, racking up a number of steals that helped demoralize his opponent. And here are the Clippers now, following the score by Atlanta. Looking to get it going. That's short off the rim. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Zubox with a screen on Young. Here's Jackson. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this one. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting a win. Uh